Hi everybody, it's Joni from Granny J. Clay. And I am going to just show you a few things I've made in the last day. Um, you recall what I just showed in my last video were my beautiful turquoise. Um, and well, I guess they look like pearl. These anyway, the, this color. And I just really, I just, I think they are very, very, very pretty. That color is just outstanding. But I wanted to make a few more things in um, some different colors. So let me show you what I've got. These are some hearts that I made um, out of red. And then I put the, let me just lay them down, leave them down there. I think it'd be better if I did that. Uh, on the back, I put some gold glitter with my resin like Deb does on Clay Boutique. And, and one more time, Deb, thank you for showing us that. I think it's just so wonderful to have that. But um, so I made some things out of red and gold. And I'll show you some things. What I did want you to pay attention to, though, is that um, this part, if I can get it up here really close, let's see what happens. This part right in here, the glittery part, it it's it is so pretty. What I did was one time I had ordered some. Let me put it back down so you can just look at it that way. There you go. Uh, I ordered some oh kind of holographic glitter, and it came in diamond shape. And I ordered it from Nail Career Education, NCE. And Susie is the one that has that YouTube. Um, and I just I thought, oh, those would be real pretty with clay. This is the first time I've tried them. So I used some that are kind of a gold in color, um, brownish, bronze, gold. Um, I think they're so pretty. They are so pretty. Anyway, I will, in my uh, description, I will put... Uh, nail career education, Susie's name, and then her um, website as well. And no, she won't know that I'm doing that, but <laughs> she won't pay any attention, I'm sure. But um, I don't get anything for this. But I just thought you might be interested in ordering some of those. So those are the gold ones. I think they're pretty. Let me show you a few more of the red. There's that. I'll go back out a little bit if I can. And I'll bring in these two. These are earrings. I haven't put anything together yet, not the blue either, because I've just been busy making things. <clears throat> Let's see here. And then once I got done with all of this, I just pushed all my crumbs together, so to speak, and I made that set of earrings. And then I just I pushed it all together, rolled it in a ball, the clay, and then I smooshed it, just smashed it down, and I, I cut a few more things out that way. So if it looks different to you, it is different. That's what I did. And then I added more of my um, gold flakes on these. And also, this is another set. Um, let's see. I'll just put this up here like this. I don't know that you get to see all of them, but that's okay. And then I also made this set. They're quite similar to each other. On the backs of these, I did put a little bit of the gold glitter. Um, these two also have the holographic glitter right in the center of them. I just think that is really, really pretty. I've enjoyed just playing around and kind of fooling around and seeing what I can do. So that's the red. I'll put this over here. And uh, I made some out of black as well. And yeah, maybe you can see these. Try to bring that in a little bit for you. Isn't that pretty? Um, let me just show you. This is the other, this is what I put on the gold, and I don't know if you can really tell what that looks like uh, with the light shining on it. This bluish, purplish, is what I put in the center here, and it's so pretty. Oh, it's so, so pretty. And just shines so nicely. I put two coats of resin over each of these because I didn't want you to rub your finger across it and feel them. So that's what that was. Again, at, from Nail Career Education is where I bought, got those. 
So these are the black and the beige. And let's see if I can bring just a little bit more in here and show you. And then I made that. And some, uh, that's a necklace. And these are the earrings that will go with that. On the back of these, I also put a little gold. Not real thick. Um, not very thick. But I did put some on the back of them. So I just think that's really, really pretty too since it's, it's both beige and black. And then when I got done with that, I just, again, put it all in a ball and smashed it down and cut a few more things out. And that was, uh, those are earrings. These are very lightweight, by the way. And these are also earrings. So, and these have the natural clay on the back of them. Okay. And uh, then for for fall, it's a funny noise. I'm not sure what that. Oh, my dog is sleeping on the floor. <laughs> he just snored. <laughs> I didn't know he was there. Um, so this is green and gold. And then I used this uh, greenish glitter, the diamond glitter. I don't know what you call it. Um, anyway, oh, it's so pretty. It, I mean, it just looks holographic to me. It's for fingernails, but I used it for this. Okay, so that's that one set. Again, a little bit of gold on the back of these. And let's see here. Um, I made two necklaces. Gold on the back again. I just am so enjoying having these forms um, to make pieces with. Those will make really pretty, very pretty gifts. Okay, so those are that. And let's see, what else did I make? Oh, I made this one. This was just kind of one of a kind. And again, I put the glitter kind of kitty corner across that. That will be a necklace. And, oh, I did put gold on the back of that too. Really makes it look pretty. Um, and then I made this big um, necklace. Well, this is about two and three quarters is how long it is, I think. Yeah. And then it's about, oh, one and three quarters at the widest mark. And I um, put a pumpkin on here that I had. I had a metal pumpkin, and I pressed it into the clay. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, once I baked it, glitter on the back too. Once I baked it, then I resined over this, I think, three times three times because I again I didn't want you to feel it and then with that I made these for earrings and I have an inclusion on that as well I had these cute little maybe you remember my video when I showed you my granddaughter's necklaces I made her one with this cute little um, oh, connector I cut the connector rings off and then I pushed it into each of the bottom of the earring and um, again there's more gold glitter on the back with the resin anyway I pushed it in and then I resined over those several times too so that they would you won't feel them when you run your finger over it that was kind of fun I haven't done that before I love the pumpkin now I didn't have a big um, gold one, so I used a silver one. That's why I have a silver pumpkin here. Even though the inside of there has gold flakes. and um, uh, But I thought, oh, that's all right. It'll still look like fall. And these still look like fall, too. Even if it's the silver one. And there's silver on the outside of these, too. Maybe you can see that. So that's all. I just wanted to show you that for now. Um, I'm going to stop making things. Uh, like this I've got let's see the blue set the black one two three four okay four different sets red black green blue and um, and now I'm at a point I have drilled them all I have resin them all and now I'm at a point where I can um, put the hardware on so that'll be for another day not today 
But I just, I just wanted you to see it. I just thought you would enjoy seeing what I've been doing. Um, I hope you've tried this technique, and I hope you have um, some metal pieces that you could use because it is so satisfying. It's just so fun to do. Okay, that's all I had for right now, and I just wanted to thank you for stopping by and for watching my videos. I really appreciate that. And I hope you're having a good evening. Um, it's As I look at the clock right now, it's about 20 to 8 in Kansas. So I'm going to begin my process of getting ready for bed and and just get away from my clay desk for a little while. I've been a busy girl lately. <laughs> God bless you all, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.